Hey everyone, it's Tiffany from Let's Get Scrappy and I have another project to share with you today. This is a mini album. It's kind of not so mini. Um, it measures six and a half by eight and a half with a two inch spine. And I used one of my um, collections that I found at Tuesday morning. This was from one of my Tuesday morning hauls. And it has, which it's not open on this one because this one's new, but it just has these six by eight sheets in here. And when I buy, you know, kind of like this size, I try to just use them as is. So that's why the book is six and a half by eight and a half. But then once I started doing the book, I wanted some cut aparts. So I did find this sheet and then a four by six sheet that I used in here um, from my local craft store. And they literally just had a few sheets of this collection. So I actually lucked out with them having that. But here is the front. I have my usual layering up here. Um, just some cardstock from my stash. This is one of the four by four uh, cut aparts layered um, with the double layering and then also popped up and then just some flowers from my stash and I cut out some different leaves to go with it and then a little bit of um, uh, this small check ribbon and then I used a gray ribbon as a closure so it's kind of my typical layout of flowers on the front spine this is really funny so you guys hear me talk about all the time how many times I mess up. So I meant to have the black and white stripe on the spine, which is the other side. And of course I was watching, I think I was watching like a crafting YouTube channel or something and glued down the side I didn't want. But that one still works, thankfully. And then here's the back just with the polka dot. And then you open it up and it really is just like a basic pocket page album nothing real fancy in here so again I tried to use um, just the sheets so on the covers I had to do a little bit bigger matting and then the sheets were able to go right onto the page so the page is six and a quarter by eight and a quarter and then just a four by six photo can go on there and then I won't pull these all out but these are just a basic plain uh, photo map and then here is this layout. And then this opens. Let's see if I can get that in there. And this is just the back of one of the four by fours that I didn't use the other side. And then I just have a little tag for you fit a photo on there, do some journaling. Um, and this just ties up. So a lot of it, um, you'll see, I kind of just left the paper as is just you can put a photo there but I just thought that was so cute why would you want to and then flips open like that and then here's this side and again I almost I was gonna put a four by six uh, photo mat there but I just thought the paper was so pretty and I did add I don't know if you could see it but I added a little Winka Stella to some of the flowers there and then here's this layout. I did a little pocket. This was one of the four by six cards. Here is another one. And then this is the back of one because I just wanted another photo mat. And again, another error. <laughs> I was again watching something, not paying attention and I put the glue on this side and I really wanted this print on here. So I had to hurry and wipe it off and thankfully, you know, majority of it came off. <laughs> it just feels a little textured maybe, just, just a little bit. But I don't know why I like to share with you guys all my errors, but I've said from the beginning, I mess up on every single one and I do. I don't know why, but I do. Every single time, something I mess up on. So again, you have a four by six spot there, then it opens up to this which this is just pretty with the gold and then the champagne flutes right there. I don't really know if they're called flutes because I don't drink, but that sounded good. <laughs> so, and then 
our back page here. And then again, this is the same as that other layout. Just thought that was a cute little four by four. Opens up to that. And again, you could just stick a four by six photo right on there without any um, having to tailor it or anything go straight on there. So like I said, it's a pretty basic album. I just added a couple flips and flaps throughout, but nothing real fancy. So anybody can make this. Just basic chipboard cover. And then you have that. So that is the album there. So I really hope that you guys liked it. If so, please give me a thumbs up. Again, I'm so thankful for everybody that has subscribed to my channel. I can't believe that I have as many that I do. So thank you guys so much. Um, I really appreciate it. Um, but give me a thumbs up if you do like the video. And if you haven't subscribed, please do so. So that way you can see future projects. Thanks for watching. Bye.